Hey everybody, happy Friday. Today is Friday, November 8th, 2019. Happy birthday to my mom. Today is her birthday. So it is a fun day around here. Um, we are gonna do all Christmas today. I hope you guys are ready. I am in the Christmas mood. And the good thing is, is that the Christmas treats are now out at the stores. So we can find lots of good Christmas goodies to start decorating, right? All right, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Share you guys over. It's very cold here, you guys. It feels like Christmas. We are in, oh, I don't know, like upper 40s. I know you guys up north are laughing at me, but around here, we're very excited about it. All right, so let me share that and get over to where I can see you guys in your comments. Hi, Denise. All right, good. You know, I think I have a new phone and it looks a little bit better. Like maybe the quality is improved. They said it would, but I couldn't tell. All right, let me move this over and I will run through some things that I have for you guys. Um, first of all, welcome to all of you. Hello, hello, hello. Denise, you're super cold. I know, I love it. I love the cold weather because we don't get it very often. That's why I love it. Oh, it's very nice. Um, today we're going to do three projects with the Tags, Tags, Tags stamp set. Have you guys seen this in the catalog? It's really, really neat. Um, it has some cool little um, special qualities about it that I'm going to tell you. Hi, Susan. Thanks so much. Um, and the fun thing about this is that it has Halloween, which I didn't get to use this year. Um, well, maybe I did use one. It has Christmas, which we're going to use today, and then it has Valentine's Day. So it's one that will carry you through several months beyond the Christmas holidays. Um, I want to remind you guys about my classes to go. Oh, look, here's my hair clip. I was going to have it there to pull my hair up, and it's in my class. Um, class to go, the um, Cup of Christmas class to go. And I will tell you guys a little secret. I have actually already cut all these kits. I never do that. I wait until um, the registration closes, but I have estimated how many I think, how many of you are gonna register. And I have cut all of those this week. And boy, let me tell you, it took me forever. <laughs> this one was a lot of scoring. But anyway, this class, the deadline is you know, and I think I have it in two different places. November 18th is the very latest. I'm actually may possibly cut it off even before that if it gets too many for me to be able to handle. Hopefully not. Um, but this class, it features the Cup of Christmas um, bundle. And the bundle itself is like $47. It's so cute. Um, it has these reversible stamps here that you can stamp with the handle one way or the other. Um, and the class to go includes six projects. You can get the bundle with it um, and if you don't already have the bundle. And when you buy that option, you get the whole bolt of ribbon for free. I've subtracted that cost from the class. If you already have the bundle, um, the stamps and the dies, or maybe you're a demonstrator and you're gonna order it with your discount, no problem, you can get the make and takes um, at a discounted price, at a lower price. Let me see, what are my prices? I don't even remember. $63 with a bundle, $33 without the bundle, and $15 for the PDF only. And I've started something new, and some of you have noticed it. When you register for my class, um, you get a confirmation page. And in that confirmation page, if you get actually like the class, in my confirmation page, it'll give you the link to the PDF so you don't have to wait for me to email it to you. If you order the PDF only option, that's over on my PDF store page. After you pay it in about, I don't know, like two or three minutes, it emails it to you. Um, and sometimes that email doesn't show up. So if you've waited like five or 10 minutes and you've checked your spam folder, just send me an email and I'll resend it. Who knows guys? I mean, they end up like bouncing around in cyberspace. It happens about 10% of the time. So don't get mad at me. I promise I'm not withholding your PDF. <laughs> it's just something with the internet. Just send me an email and let me know. And as soon as I get it, I'll send it over again, okay? All right, so there's that class, the Christmas, Cup of Christmas Treats class. This is one of my favorite classes. I love treat boxes, obviously you guys know that, but the Christmas one's always fun. Then the other class that is closing at the same time, they'll ship together to save you shipping, is the Snowfront Stamp-A-Stack. Um, this one 
includes the snow front stamp set or you can get it without the snow front stamp set and both of those to go kits will include these yummy gold uh, enamel dots and the gold glimmer ribbon um, and I have already studied started cutting these too and let me tell you cutting for a stamp -a stack is a lot of work because you're getting two of each right so I have to cut double <laughs> But don't worry, I have planned it out. I have already been scoring and cutting and, and sorting. So just um, maybe some of you who have already registered, I might start shipping those out next week, much earlier than what I thought, maybe. Um, if you guys don't know, next uh, Saturday is Stampin' Up's kind of what we call a convention. It's called On Stage. And um, I am leaving for that Friday morning, so I have to, get all of this done quickly because the following weekend is my retreat so I'm planning way ahead but anyways if you would like a stamp a stack to go delivered right to your mailbox check out the link on today's PDF and on today's post for both of these classes um, they can ship together and you'll save shipping I guess I'll just leave that there They'll, you only pay shipping once if you get both classes okay um, if you've not joined me for Facebook Friday before if you jump over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, this is the post that you'll find. And under the last photo, you'll find the PDF. And um, these links right here for those two classes that I was just telling you about will take you there, okay? Um, there's also links at the bottom of the post. Um, I, was just, I was distracted because I'm reading comments. Um, you get the PDF tutorial right away. Well, good, thank you so much. Sue, I will see you at, didn't we say I would see you at on stage? I'm going to Las Vegas. I'll be in Las Vegas and I'm presenting. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Is it a secret? I don't think it's a secret. Okay, let's see. Reminder, we have the, what we did last week, the Christmas time is here, suite of products. This is only available in November or until supplies last. So if you love that beautiful rose that we did last week, here's one of the projects. Make sure you get this stuff ordered by, well, before it runs out. Who knows when it's gonna run out. By the way, you guys, a little heads up. It's that time of the year where things are flying off the shelf. Stampin' Up! is doing their very best to keep all of these products in stock. But just like all the other stores, we run out of stuff too, especially when the demand is high around Christmas. And it seems like we've kind of peaked this week with things that are either on back order or not orderable. One thing that was announced last night is that the Moose Punch is sold out. Totally gone, not coming back, no more, that's it. So hopefully if you wanted the Moose Punch, you got it because it's gone. It is gone. Super sad because I was gonna do a Facebook Friday with that and now it's gone. But you could always fussy cut that Moose if you still wanna get that stamp set. You could fussy cut. <laughs> I can hear some of you laughing out there, but hey, you could do it. Okay, reminder tutorial bundle we do these every month there's 12 tutorials in here you get this free with a $50 order um, like on stampinup.com from me uh, if you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator already and you don't want to order from me you can go and get this in my PDF store as well um, this month here's a little sneak peek of my project it's a box is it upside down I can't tell okay there's 12 12 tutorials in there designed by 12 different demonstrators so you really do get, um, you know, like a feel, a different um, vibe on each of them, a different style on each of them. So it's a really cool, it's a really cool thing. Okay, how about prizes? Last week I said I was going to give away the Seasonal Wreath stamp set. I have two of them. Seasonal Wreath stamp set with the Facebook Friday projects from a couple of weeks ago. Um, Melanie, very good idea. She said you don't have to fussy cut that mousse. You could just punch it out with a circle or a square. Hello, of course, that's a, an excellent suggestion. Much easier than fussy cutting, right? <laughs> okay, so prizes, I picked two random people um, who shared the video. Rhonda Johnson, congratulations, you are one of the winners. Rhonda, I don't think that I have your address. Message me, okay, please? And Maggie Bennett, I know I have your address. So congratulations, ladies. Thanks so much for sharing my video. It does mean a lot to me and it does help me find new customers so I always appreciate it Carla I know super sad you think I should still do a Facebook Friday with the moose 
Let me see. I mean, why don't I let's see? <laughs> you happy to send a bribe? Was it you, Carla, who had asked me if I was going to do a Facebook Friday or a class with a moose? I really do like the moose, and I really would like to um, to do that. But you know, I don't want to make it so that you can't buy it if you want it. Sad. You guys, let me know. I can't see comments on my iPad. What's up? What's up, Facebook? Come on, Facebook. We need to see comments. Er, okay. Well. Let's try it. Let's see. What if I open it up? Ah, there they are. Ta-da. It happened. It just pops up. Who knows? Who knows why? Okay. Last but not least, you guys, this week's prize is pretty good. I saved back a holiday catalog ribbon share and a holiday catalog paper share. And I'm going to give away two of each to somebody who shares the video. That's pretty good. I think that's a really good prize, right? So share the video on Facebook and you'll be entered in and I will announce the winner next week. Speaking of next week, you guys, so I am leaving. I am not going to Vegas till Friday morning. So that, but that does mean I will be on for, on Friday. So my goal is to do Facebook live on Thursday afternoon at two o'clock. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to, um, no, I mean, I'm 95% sure I can pull it together. Um, I'm just really focused on getting my retreat to go packed and ready and my all my classes. But I really want to do Facebook Friday with you guys next week on Thursday. So plan on it next Thursday. If for some reason I just can't get it done, I will let you know. We're having a crazy week around here. My oldest daughter, she had her wisdom teeth out in July. Well, she's had this weird like bump that keeps coming back and we've gone around doctor to doctor. Nobody knows what it is. Well, we finally went back to the oral surgeon and he says it's it was an infection from her wisdom teeth in July. Poor baby. She's done two rounds of antibiotics. Didn't didn't get rid of it. And so this morning she they had to go back in and do whatever they do to get rid of an infection. So it's like we've had wisdom teeth out again. So that was today. My other daughters, we've just, it's just been crazy town around here. It, fe it feels like I can't have just like a, a normal day. I have to get, call somebody calls. I got to run here, run there. Ooh, a playful penguins. Yes, I want to do playful penguins. That is coming, I promise. Um, yeah, so it's been crazy around here, but I really don't want to skip Facebook Live um, because the following week may be even crazier. So fingers crossed we can pull it together, okay? All right, let's stamp. Would you guys like to stamp? Um, I'm reading, please do the moose class. You think I should do the moose class even without the punch? You know, you guys that are saying that already have your moose punch. That's why you're saying that, right? <laughs> How many of you vote against the moose class because then you would be so sad that you didn't have the moose punch and you would be jealous? I guess I would just have to fussy cut it, huh? It's so cute. And, and I think I told you guys from the very beginning, it was one of my favorite things in the holiday catalog. That's why it's sold out. Because it's so cute. I know. And Sue, yeah, you think I should? Oh, you guys. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. I shouldn't be showing things that we can't get. Although maybe it'll be my challenge to come up with projects to use the moose stamp without the punch. That's really hard. <laughs> I don't know if I have the brain power for that right now. Okay, you guys, let me look. Am I straight? This looks kind of weird. Let me move that up. So this week I designed, oh, come on. Okay, we, we have to fix that. My OCD will not let me proceed. This got crunched. Let's make it, let's make it stick down. <laughs> My OCD is showing. Okay, so this week I decided to use the, it looks a little blurry to me guys. If it's blurry to you, I apologize. Um, hopefully that will fix it, correct itself when I upload back to Facebook. Um, I uploaded in HD. Yeah, um, Carrie, I know it is good for masculine. Um, it is. Playful penguins. Oh, you guys. Ah, okay. Okay. I got to stop reading comments because now I'm super distracted. All right. So I decided I chose tags, tags, tags. Have you guys seen this? Excuse the sticker. Um, we got this as one of our um, pillow gifts in Greece and they had to have all, they had to have these stickers for customs and they darn it, put it right there on the front. But anyway, Tags, tags, tags. We've got three Halloween tags, three Valentine tags, three Christmas tags. The really cool thing about this stamp set 
and is really smart on Stampin' Up's part is that the three tags are connected in one stamp right so if you just wanted to make a bunch of tags like we're gonna do today we're gonna just stamp it once and make a different project with each tag so I thought that was very clever now if you decide well wait a minute I only want to use this tag well you could always mask off those right you could just put a post-it note to cover them up and then ink that or I've told you guys this before, this before, it's not a fine string of pearls, you can cut it apart. It's just a rubber stamp. Um, if you cut it right there, and then you want, later on you decide you wanna stamp them all at the same time, it's like a puzzle. It just goes right back next to each other on the block and you stamp it and it's exactly where it needs to be, okay? So no problem, no problem, don't worry. So tags, 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 it has a little die set that goes with it. You, If you order the bundle, of course you save 10%. Um, so on the supply list today um, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, I've listed the trio of tags bundle instead of just the two by themselves because to get the discount, you do have to use that bundle number, okay? And so you can see it just cuts them, whoops, no like this. It's because I'm backwards. You would just cut them out. We will just cut them out like that, okay? And it also has three little cute things. It has a little snowflake to go with the the snowflake, which we're going to use, the uh, pumpkin to go with the Halloween, and the heart to go with the Valentine. So it's a pretty um, useful stamp set, I think, and cleverly designed by stamping up as usual. Did I forget something? I feel like I forgot something. Hmm, I don't know. That's like putting the sticker on the glass of a frame. Thank you, Karen. Right? Who does that? It had to have been a man. Sorry if there's any men watching, but you know it's true. <laughs> it had to be a man. Okay, I'll stop offending you guys. Let's get started. Let's start with this first project. How cute is this? You guys, I have two treats today, and somebody emailed me this week. Who was it? Who was it? Was it Chris? Maybe it was Chris. I don't know if she's watching. Look. Oh my gosh, so cute. Elf on the Shelf Christmas Cake Bites. Um, so you know I just snatched these. And there was another, um, like a chocolate version too. And I almost got those and I thought, okay, Erica, one is enough. But um, I have a feeling they probably look the same. They probably, um, the box was brown, so maybe the print is brown. I don't know. But they're kind of big. Um, they're bigger than a little Debbie treat. These came from Walmart and there are four in a box. And I don't remember how much they were. I'm bad. I never look at that. Um, I just get excited that it's a themed treat. But anyway, here's the box. I linked it on Am um, from Amazon on my blog. If you can't find it at your Walmart or you can't get out, you can order them, of course, from Amazon. So here you go. Thank you. Who said that, Kathy? Thank you very much. Okay. So I decided to make a little treat bag and I will tell you that this is based on my downline. Deborah brought me a version of this bag that was bigger for Halloween and it's been sitting on my desk. I couldn't wait to copy it. And so that's where I got the idea. Hers was bigger, used a whole sheet of designer series paper and it was beautiful. All right, so let me get, let me make some room here. The first thing we're gonna do, if I haven't already lost it, here it is. We're gonna stamp this stamp and cut it out, okay? Real red, real red. It's a big one, so it's best to turn it and ink it like that. And we'll stamp it on Whisper White. The cake bites are cute. I haven't opened them. I don't know what they taste like because I don't need to know, let's be honest. I do not need to know that. All right, now, I didn't stamp that one very good. Sometimes when your photopolymer stamps don't stamp very well, when it's a, like a solid stamp, if you'll get your piercing mat and put it underneath, it stamps beautifully. I find that, especially when I go to class, um, sometimes the table surface underneath is not great. It kind of bows or whatever. So if you find that's happening wherever you're stamping, just get um, one of our piercing mats or fun foam, you know, like you get at the craft store. And uh, that will normally solve the problem. Oh, put this back here so I don't lose it. All right, so now let's get these out. One, two, and three. It didn't cut well for some reason because it knows it's on camera, it's having stage fright. Because let me tell you, it was cutting just fine. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is? 
Okay. I know, Avis. I know. I'm so sorry. I just can't believe it. I, well, I can believe it because it was a super, super cute um, punch and stamp. You know, my friend Ange, um, who lives in Canada, um, when we first saw the moose, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. And she was like, oh, no thanks. Which is funny because... I mean, aren't there moose in Canada? And in South Texas, there, you would never find a moose. So I don't know. I guess you either like it or you don't. I saw someone post last night that she lived in Maine and moose were all year round thing for her. And I thought, yeah, for sure. Not here, but anyways, I know you guys. And you know what? I don't, I, sometimes I order several bundles. Um, I'll use them for classes or whatever prizes in that one. I don't have any extras of, sadly. Okay, just to let you know what I did, I took Real Red Dark, colored in those little stripes on his socks, and Call Me Clover Dark, and colored in his little shoes. Looks like I got out of line, and we were gonna we're gonna just pretend that we don't see that. All right, now let's <laughs> set this aside, and we're gonna need the Simply Scored. Out of curiosity, those of you that are watching at home, when you score, do you um, use a Simply Scored or do you use the trimmer, your, your stamp and trimmer, or do you use something else? Just out of curiosity. And Mary, I see your comment. Talk to us about the new paper trimmer. I will. I will. In just a sec. If I start talking about that, I'm going to screw this up because you guys, today I filmed this video for the clean version and I screwed it up like three times. So I have to focus. <laughs> um, that's why I like to do those ahead of time because then by the time I go live, hopefully I have it down. All right, so hopefully my PDF updated with the correct instructions too. If you guys go and look at it and it looks different than this, please let me know. All right, so this is an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of real red. We're gonna score one side, they're the same, so it doesn't matter. One side at half and one side at four and a half. Then you're gonna turn it and score it at two inches. Then turn it again so that it's it's not this it's not the side that we originally scored, it's the opposite side, okay? It's where these score lines are. And we're gonna make a score line at two and at six. But see I'm stopping right there. Okay. You should have seen the mess that I made this morning when I was trying to rush and do this without thinking. Okay, so can you guys see that? Let me fold it. In, and I don't know what this is called. Is this a box in a bag? A bag in a box? A box bag? A bag? I don't know. I don't know. I decided to add a heart because it's just needed a little something. It was a little boring without something on it. So I'm using this heart from Meant to Be, our Valentine set from last year. It's available in the annual catalog. Real red. You could do snowflakes. You could do candy cane stamp, you could do, um, I don't know, I thought of something else, what was it? Oh, a little gift stamp, if you had like a present stamp. Just add some texture, polka dots. You know, if you have a dot stamp, gosh man, you can get a ton of use out of a dot stamp. Okay, now, let me show you how to cut this. Simply scored, uh, good, I'm seeing your, um, your, your answers. Annette, you like the Simply Scored? I like to use the Simply Scored too. And Kathy, you say mostly your trimmer. Mary Ann, Simply Scored, but I'm really liking the score wheel and the new trimmer. You know, maybe we should use that on the next project. The new trimmer scoring tool has an amazing little scoring mechanism. It, it really is neat. Okay, so I cut off that little rectangle right there. I cut these at an angle. And now I'm just gonna cut these up to that line like that and then I'm just gonna cut a sliver like a V around like that the new trimmer is only $25 which I think is an amazing price point for what you're getting it's a great trimmer it is not designed to to cut bulk cardstock, okay? So if you're a demonstrator and you're preparing for class and you need to cut like a bunch of cardstock, I don't really think this is what it's designed for. But if you are a 
just a casual crafter and you want to have a trimmer sitting on your desk or in a drawer or you like to take a trimmer with you somewhere this is really good for that it's lightweight and it's very sharp so I am really pleased with it okay so now I've folded in that side tab put some strong adhesive on there fold it over you guys know, don't use snail in your 3D items. This is fast fuse, long since retired, but I just can't let it go. All right, now while it's folded in half, get your one inch circle punch. Punch out through both sides to make your little handle. Now we're gonna form these like that, like a box on the bottom, isn't that cool? Just fold them on up. I don't know who ever came up with this original design, but it's so smart. All right, just put a little bit of adhesive on three of them, okay? Fold those sides in and fold the front one last. <laughs> Cindy, your lips to God's ears. I'm telling you, I love fast views. I know, I know. All right, and there we have it, right? So easy, you could make a bunch of these in no time and look, like a glove, perfect. I know, it's so perfect. Okay, now this is the Real Red Ruched Ribbon. I think that's how you say it. Real Red, yeah, Ruched Ribbon. It's big. Um, and so tying a bow with this and putting it on a card would not be ideal. Now, if you're going to use this on a card, you could lay it flat and do kind of like a border, which would be beautiful. I haven't used this enough um, because I really do like it. But for 3D projects, it's great because, man, your bows can be as big as you want on your 3D projects. Right? It doesn't matter. They are not mailing these. They don't have to lay flat. So put that big bow on there like that. Okay, now we're going to get a jingle bell on my clean video today. I forgot the jingle bell. Goodness. Let's do gold this time. These jingle bells are really interesting. They're not all the way round. Let me see if you guys can see. They're kind of, it's like someone squished them before they were dry. <laughs> So they're um, a little bit flat on one side, which I like. I like that, that it kind of sits flat. All right, now take your Whisper White, um, your Whisper White uh, Baker's Twine. See what happens when I start reading y'all's comments. I space out. Uh, I start saying that. And I thought I saw something else I needed to answer. Oh, Melanie, no texting and driving. I know, it's hard. Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing kind of a mix, a trimmer and a Simply Scored. Um, Simply Scored is my go-to, and I think that's because I do a lot of bulk scoring. For instance, I, cut, I scored 160 card bases this morning for just one card in the Stampa Stack. And so the Simply Scored, I feel like, is very quick. Oh, see what happens when I'm talking? I messed up, okay undo that. I was so focused on not forgetting the bell that I forgot the tag. I can't talk. And you know, I don't know what the deal is here, but let me get my piercer. Hold on just a second. These, um, for some weird reason, that die didn't cut well. Oh, there, it just popped out. It did cut. I thought maybe it didn't. It, this one has a little stitch line around it. So adorable. Okay, so we want the bell in front. Can you guys see that? Like that. <sighs> yes, yeah, so today it's super cold here. Um, well, super cold for South Texas in the like upper 40s. It's wet, it's rainy, it's windy. And my oldest daughter, she had bike rodeo. Do you guys have bike rodeo or is that just a Texas thing? They take their bike to school and they have um, this little like competition during PE and the police officers are there and they check their safety of their bike and their helmet and stuff. And she won first place like in kindergarten. And so now every year she's like, oh, I didn't win. It's hard to win when you're little and then not win again. But this is her last one, fifth grade. Hopefully it's dry enough for them to do it. Okay, and boom, we're done. You can kind of pinch that side to give it that little that little stuff. Isn't that so cute? Let's see, I have three of them now. And you know, really quick and easy, I think you could make a bunch of these really fast. You've never heard of it, Judy? Oh, well, it's cute. 
it is a cute little activity and it's good because it's bike safety you know the, they check their helmets and their brakes and make sure they have lights and reflectors and all that but you know some get crazy and uh get real competitive not that i would do that but <laughs> it's a big deal okay let me move that one out of the way i hope you guys like that first project the next project is a little Debbie treat box. I mean, can we not have any more cute little Debbie things? Here's a new one. I've never seen these before. Snowflake brownies. They probably think I'm crazy buying all these Christmas things even before October is op over. So little Debbie does like a brownie for every season, right? And so this is the snowflake brownie and I assume they're all about the same size. We did one just recently. What did we do? The bat brownie? Um, you guys, if you're looking for these, Little Debbie has a snack finder on their website. I've linked it on my blog. You click it, you type in your zip code, you scroll down to Snowflake Brownie, and it'll tell you what grocery stores in your area have the brownie or whatever it is you're looking for. There's a bunch of them out, and when you open the Little Debbie website, um, right now it shows you all the cute little Christmas treats that they have. Okay, so we're going to use the second tag right here to make this little brownie box. And of course, I had to use Coastal Cabana because I love Coastal Cabana, especially with red. Okay, let's see. Where's my trimmer? I don't ever score on this. Do I trust myself to do it? Let's see. I might mess up and have to cut a new one. Okay. Remember, it's over at pinkbuggery.com, the PDF. Here are the measurements right here. You just bought some of those, Judy. Good. Do they have a turkey brownie? Shannon, I, you know, just like everybody else, I think they skip right over Thanksgiving. <laughs> we went from Halloween to Christmas. But there is a, a pumpkin roll that we've done that you could use for Thanksgiving, right? Because it's not Halloween. It's pumpkin, just a pumpkin roll. It's cute. Okay, so this is a five and a half by six and three eighths. This kind of has some weird measurements into the eighths, okay? I had to base it on the size of that brownie. So five and a half by six and three eighths. We're gonna score the short side. And here's the scoring tool. And you can't really see it. Let's see if I can pop it off. Mm, I can't get it off, there we go. Ooh, it's filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Um, it has a little wheel here, and it is really much better at scoring than our previous trimmer was. And the blade will slice your finger right open. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Okay, so we're going to do five eighths. Um, so here's the half. Five eighths is the next little tick mark. There, this one has even the sixteenth. So we're not doing the the small one. We're doing the one in between. Um, the half and the three-fourths, okay? And I want to make sure, you know what, I'm going to do it this way. You can do it on this side too. Let's do five-eighths over here. There's half and five-eighths. And you're going to score. My problem is that I will accidentally cut the, I will grab the, um, the blade and try to score with the blade. There's no coming back from that. Nope. All right, so basically it says five and it, five eighths and four and seven eighths, which friends is just five eighths on both sides. Okay. All right. And then, um, the long side we'll do again at five eighths. This time I'm going to go this way. Ooh, you guys, you might need your glasses for this. I'm not saying I need glasses, but I need glasses. Um, another thing, one of my downline we talked about is they felt like this kind of stuck but it, that's by design. The other one had a lock here. This one does not. It just kind of locks in place so that when you open it, it doesn't fall open. So when you pull it, there's a little bit of a hitch. That's by design, okay? All right, five eighths, two and seven eighths, three and a half, and five and three fourths. Now, you guys, if you're gonna need to score a bunch of things, like you're gonna make 10 or 20 of something or 30, maybe you're doing a craft sale, 
I think that you're going to be faster on the Simply Scored. Um, boy, I can whip things out on that thing fast. This one's a little more cumbersome because you have to open that each time. But just for your onesies or twosies or threesies, you know, or just, you know, for regular crafting, I think that this would be perfectly fine for scoring. Okay, so here's our box. We're going to burnish. I need to move this so I can see what you guys are saying. Burnish those lines. Oh, Kathy writes <laughs> like butter. The knife or the blade is very, very sharp. I, th I think I did it, either I was touching it to see how sharp it was or I was popping it back in there, but yeah, that thing is sharp. Okay, so our box is gonna be like this. We need to cut out, let me, hold on, let me think what we're doing here. Okay, on one end, it doesn't matter which end, just make sure it's at the top and the bottom of one end. You're gonna cut those um, squares out. And remember, you guys, if you come back, you want to make a bunch of these and you need to watch the video again. There's clean recordings of these so you don't have to listen to my chatter. Um, and I just get right down to business. Uh, those will be on YouTube. They're actually already there. I just need to make them public. They'll be on my blog linked later on this afternoon. Because um, I know sometimes Facebook Live recordings can be super annoying when you're just <laughs> trying to figure something out, right? Okay, so now... We are going to put your super strong adhesive, fast fuse, tear and tape, or Tombow right there on that, um, the skinny tab that you cut the squares off. Then we're going to fold it over here like that. And we've got our box. Now we're going to adhere one of them closed and leave one of them open. All right, so you want to... You want to make wherever this is, wherever this where we folded this over and adhered. You want that to be the back side. So the front, make that flap fold over last. That way you'll have clean rounded edges on your front, okay? Because now we've got the edge here and the edge there. Just a little trick. Okay, let's put our little brownie in. Fold over, same thing. Make your front flap fold in last. Okay, so you have rounded edges. All right, and there's your box, easy peasy. Now, we're gonna use, these are called the Christmas layers, right? Why suddenly that doesn't sound right? Don't even tell me. Yeah, okay, I have it on there. Christmas layers dies, and I have been using this a ton. I love it. So we're gonna use the snowflake, and then we're gonna pull over, where did I put it? Oh, come on, it's probably under something. We're going to use the dies that go with the tags, tags, tags. It's here somewhere. You know what I always say? If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Where did it? It totally has disappeared. We need it. You guys are probably, do you see it? <clears throat> Who knows? Do you know what? I have another set. <laughs> I'll go get it. I have two sets because when you have to cut 160 of these guys, you want more than one. Just saying. All right. So have you guys seen my um, uh, dryer sheet trick? I'm still looking for it. It's here somewhere. Um, if you are cutting out an intricate die, if you lay a dryer sheet down first on your clear platform, this is going to help cut and it's gonna help pull out some of those little doodads. I'm so annoyed with myself right now. <laughs> Where did I put it? Okay, I'm coming over here to get the other one. Hold, please. Here it is. I have another set. Okay. This is what comes with the tags. This is one of the ones that comes with, it, with the tags dies. Dryer sheet. By the way, don't buy the expensive ones. Buy the ones at Dollar Tree. They are the best. The other ones will hurt your throat. The, the scent is so strong when you're die cutting with it, it will make your throat hurt. So don't use those. Get the cheapies. They're less than like two pennies each. All right, so see, when you put a dryer sheet down and you pull the die up, everything stays stuck to the dryer sheet. And let me tell you, when you are mass producing and you have to cut out 160 of these, this is such a time saver. You just lay out that dryer sheet, put the cardstock on there, run it through, peel it off, boom, move to the next one. Instead of having to, you know, dryer or um, brush all of them each time to get them out. Just a little tip because 
I am like the queen of mass production these days. All right, so now let me peel this out without tearing. What's going on with my big shot? It's cranky today, it does not wanna behave. Okay, there we go, see? So let's get that one. And sometimes a little dryer stuff sticks to it. Only when you're making a video does it do that. But see, it just peels right off. All right, now this one, a lot of times, see the little doodads will stay stuck like that, but they don't always all come off. So you, that's why you've got to keep your die brush handy. And this is the new attachment for the Take Your Pick tool. I love now the Take Your Pick tool. It's got... Let's see, we've got a die, br die brush, we've got um, the putty, we've got a piercer, we've got a score. So if you are a, like a crafter who goes to places like crops and stuff, it really reduces some of the tools that you need to take because it's all just in one, which I love. All right, so you get all those out. And then, by the way, this comes, <laughs> I think I told you guys the other week, when you order this, it comes in this giant box like this, and this is way down in the bottom, so you'll think they forgot it, but it's there, I promise. Now, last week we talked about using the fine tip glue pen and how some of us have a love-hate relationship with it, myself included. Um, so I'm gonna show you another option. Um, someone last week mentioned, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I need to wash this. You need to have a clean spot, and I just put that probably where I shouldn't. You can see the sticky from, from when I did it before. Find a clean spot on your silicone mat. Somebody last week mentioned the adhesive sheets, but we don't carry those anymore. So if you don't have any of those, I'm giving you some other options. Put your Tombow there, get a sponge, hold down your, your piece, and put some of that adhesive on there, okay? Now, quickly, before it dries, Put that on your box, okay? Now, word to the wise, right here, if you lay down another one, you're laying it down into that adhesive, okay? So that's only one drawback if you're doing a bunch. Let's see, I'm gonna do this little one too because we're gonna adhere that snowflake. It's gonna perfectly fit on this guy, it's gonna cover up the red one. It covers that stamp perfectly so that your tag has two colors. Hi everybody who's just joined. Very nice, I put it on the magnet board, I know, and I can't find the magnet board. I put it on the magnet board so that I wouldn't lose it. Isn't that funny how that happens? Magnet board is under something, I'll find it. Okay, <laughs> thanks Ginger. Okay, now, Wink of Stella, and you probably should do this before you put it on your box, but I never remember to do that. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella to the snowflake all around. Just make it pop off a little bit off of our box. There we go. And now, um, we're gonna get our Whisper White Twine. Yep, I know, Carla. I know, love, hate. I know. It's, you have to, you really have to be mindful when you're using the fine tip glue pen. Very mindful. My problem is I will forget to close it right away and then it's clogged because it clogs really quickly. But it's really kind of cool, that fine tip, if you don't get super messy with it like me. Well, I meant to crisscross those, but oh well. All right, so there, see what I did? That's how we closed the box with the twine wrapped around three times. And then we're gonna take this and we will put, uh oh, low battery, I gotta plug that in. We will put dimensionals on either side. Does it make your plates sticky? What? what Carla, does what make my plates sticky? The dryer sheets? No, it does not. If that's what you're asking, the dryer sheets, it does not. Every now and then, every now and then, um, I will have a piece of like, 
like whatever I've cut out and I'll peel the dryer sheet off and it stays a little bit sticky on the on the back of the paper and I don't know why because normally it's not like that but sometimes I'll do a bunch and then I go to take them off and the the little residue from the dryer sheet makes the back of the cardstock sticky but I don't know I don't know if it has to do with humidity or what but let me tell you it saves a ton of time okay back to the putty tool and the red um, maybe a film yes Carla but not sticky are you using the same ones as I am from the Dollar Tree whoops well gotta get rid of that one the putty tool here will just pick up your red rhinestones I, I have tried other dryer sheets that I felt were too sticky and too strong smelling but that's why I stick with those Dollar Tree ones. Sometimes, yes, I know what you're talking about. There is like a, whatever it is that keeps those little things sticking to the dryer sheet does come off on your plates, but it doesn't seem to bother any of the things that I do. And you could always just, you know, give it a scrub. And ta-da, we are done. Lots of chit chat today. I'm sorry if I'm distracting you guys. There we go, aren't they fun? I just love these little boxes and those brownies need to leave my house because they look delicious. A brownie with icing. Yum. All right. So there you go. Project number two. We've got one tag left and I've got a card for you guys, you card makers out there. So let me move all of this and we will do project number three. All right. Ooh, and we're going to use the puff paint, the snow puff paint. Now this tag has these little these little doodads, let's poke them out. All right. You like the chit chat, Kathy? Well, <laughs> good, I'm glad some people do. You never know, you can't, you can't make everybody happy, right? All right, so here's our card. I decided to make a little card. Um, this, the image on here reminded me a whole lot of this embossing folder uh, in the woods, what's it called? Let me look, let me tell you. It is called, in the woods. No, those are the dies. Where is it? Did I not? Yeah, here it is. Woodland embossing folder. So I thought that was perfect. And these trees are from the in the woods stamp or in the woods dies that were so popular last year when they came out, we couldn't keep them in stock. So now they are in stock and we can take full advantage. All right, so let's emboss. And this is not a 3D embossing folder. Hi, Lari, of course you can watch the replay. It'll probably be less glitchy when you watch the replay anyway. All right, I'm gonna put my regular platform here. I still haven't found that. <laughs> oh, those dies. They're here somewhere, they're under something. Um, this is not a 3D uh, folder, so we need both clear plates, okay? This piece of Whisper White is four by five and a fourth. Yay, a card, Elizabeth. Yay. I know. You know, I just feel constantly like I need to make 3D items, but I forget that not everybody wants 3D items. Got to remind myself. All right, so let's layer this. We're going to layer this beautifully embossed piece on a piece of early espresso that is just a smidge bigger, so that means it's four and three eighths by five and, no, no. It's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then a real red card base. Hey mom, happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to mom. It's her birthday. And she finally has internet at her new house. Took them forever. And you guys know how fun that is, having no internet. I would not have survived. Okay, now let's use the puff paint. I've cut out two of those trees. Here's the die set um, in the woods. It's a great one. I need to leave it out and use it more. Um, here is our Snowfall Accents puff paint. I think, have we used this? I think one time we used it on Facebook Live. Shake it up really good. And keep in mind that it is gonna be pretty liquidy when it comes out. It's supposed to be, all right, um, kind of looks like milk. And I'm just gonna kind of put it around some of these little, I mean, I guess they're not branches, but the little curves there. <laughs> Thank you, my nail color. Mom told me last week when I was complaining about getting my nail polish on my paper that artists never have their, their nails painted because of that. 
but my nails look terrible right now, so I have to cover them up. Okay, now we're gonna heat this up, and hopefully you guys can see. This is just a pair of craft tweezers got at the craft store a long time ago. So you need your heat tool, and you wanna be careful at first because it is still liquidy, but as you heat it, it's gonna bubble up like little crystals. We're going out to eat for her birthday tonight. There is a great Mexican restaurant in the area that has fabulous margaritas. And it has a fabulous patio, although I'm not sure what the patio will be like tonight because it's cold. All right, can you guys see it puffing up? And the more you heat it, the more it will puff up. You can go back and add more and heat it again. The only problem is you have to find that fine line in between getting enough puff out of your paint and scorching your paper and your puff puff paint because it will scorch also. So, and I will tell you if you have a different heat tool than the Stampin' Up! heat tool that I'm using, I actually have another one um, that was the first heat tool I ever bought and it's super hot. Um, it will make this stuff puff up huge um, because it's so much hotter. So just be careful. Just like they say on the recipes, not all ovens cook the same. Same with heat tools. Um, it also scorches it almost every time I use it. So be real careful. This heat tool is a lot cooler than other heat tools. Oh, look, it just keeps puffing. I could just do this all day. You guys see that? Isn't that fun? So just be careful, play around with it. Hopefully you guys can, whoops, fog, it's not foggy, it's blurry. I love that, so cute. So be careful when you're using it, okay? All right, some dimensionals. Dimensionals, dimensionals. My desk isn't too messy today. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't do too bad. I almost had a little nervous breakdown this morning because <laughs> If you guys could see, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff that I have ordered for the retreat to go, for the classes to go, just everything. Oh, I just squished that. It wasn't all the way dry. Um, and then the ribbon that was on back order for my Gather Together class came in and I was like, oh my God, there's so much stuff. So my husband brought in a table from the garage. He always knows like, okay, how can I help you without you freaking out. He brought in a table. We put it in the next room and I took some stuff out of here and got organized. Isn't it funny how just, um, you know, kind of cleaning up your area, your space and organizing a little bit can just relieve that stress. I don't know. For me, it does tremendously. Okay. Yeah. Lisa, be real careful with that heat tool. It, um, the one that I have is, is great. It's a lot hotter, which means I burn myself usually when I use it. <laughs> So, you know, it's a give and take. Burn yourself, get bigger puff paint. Or use the safe one and have regular puff paint. All right, so just a linen bow right here, right there, and done. Easy, easy, easy card, right? You could add a little more paint, if, I mean, a little more snow if you felt like you needed it. Really cute. So guys, look, we've made three different projects with one stamped image. We stamped it once, we cut it once, and we made a card. Uh, what did we decide this is? Anybody have a name for this? A box bag and a gift box. And we are done. Ta-da! You guys, I hope you liked it. Um, let's see, what did I... Kathy, man, my retreat to go sold out in a day. One day. I know. I know. Um... Let's see, but you know what, guys? I'm gonna do a retreat in the spring sometime around April, so be looking for that, okay? And I'm gonna do it the same thing, the same way, retreat to go. Uh, who, let's see, someone asked about, um, does well from behind, Melanie? Okay, yeah, I've seen people do that. I've never done that, heating it from behind. Ooh, Debbie, you got your prizes today, good. Good, good, good. Let's see, I feel like there's a question here. The, oh, Ginger, you said they have heaters there at La Hacienda, right? Isn't that what it's called, La Hacienda out uh, on Scenic Loop? Excellent. Once it's heated, is it spongy? Yes. That was the question I missed. So it's spongy. Isn't that awesome? I squished that one, but it's spongy. I love it. Yeah, no, it's not hard. 
it actually, you know, feels kind of like, oh, there's a clay, that Crayola clay. I don't know if you guys have ever felt like, felt that. It feels similar to that. Um, all right. Bag in a box, Sue. Is that what it's called? Bag in a box? I don't know. Thanks, Kathy. You guys are so sweet. And thanks for all your support, you guys. I appreciate it. I would not have had the amazing year I have had without all of you. So I really, really appreciate it. All right. So as I don't think I've even said it one time today. If you put an order in by Monday at midnight and use the host code right here, it's also on the PDF. I'm going to send you all three make and takes for free, okay? Um, you'll get a little kit. Here's the host code. It's on the PDF as well. Um, and... Um, I haven't even given the starter kit a shout out in a while, but I know Christmas is coming and you can ask Santa to, that you tell Santa you want the starter kit. You want to join my team. That's a really good idea to do around the holidays. You get $125 in product for just $99. Plus you get all my PDFs for free when you're on my team. Um, and then you can order the classes really cheap. So just keep that in mind when you are making your Christmas list, you guys. All right, I think that is it. We we got done before three o'clock today. Wow. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Remember next week, it'll be Thursday afternoon instead of Friday, okay? Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be, I will have it together and we will be ready to go on Thursday. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.